Good afternoon, everyone. You ready to see Seconds Count with Sophie Lennon? That's too bad, because this is a cooking show. Who likes salmon casserole? Oh, no, you're in the right place. So, a couple of things to keep in mind today. No smoking, no snacking, and when that red light goes on, it means the Russians are invading. <laughs> or we're rolling, one of the two. Both are pretty exciting. <laughs> Hello, ladies. You lost? She's getting married this weekend, and we brought her here. So I can talk her out of it? <laughs> What's your name? I'm Nora. Congratulations, Nora. What's your fiance's name? Montgomery. Got a picture? Not bad. Huh? But remember, one day you go to bed with this, the next day you wake up with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, sir. All these things sound wonderful. What could possibly be the downside of him winning? What should we? Every single woman in this room be very, very afraid of. This. If he wins, this is going to be the first lady. Can you imagine? You wake up, your hair in curlers, pillow creases on your face, and you sit down at the table and pick this up and see that face first thing in the morning. I mean, really? And when Sophie comes out, I'm gonna need you to yell like your hair's on fire. And if at any point your hair really is on fire, the exits are there and there. Can you picture Jackie Kennedy having a bad hair then? Or chip nail polish? Can you imagine her with mustard on her shirt? Or with cramps? No, Pat Nixon, that woman has cramps. Probably every single day. I'm sure Pat's a very nice lady, but I feel like I know what she looks like after a night with her in-laws. Exhausted, cut and drunk, full of resentment, and suddenly realizing the ice pick can be used on something other than ice. But not Jackie. You know how there are times in your life when things seem to be going great? And then suddenly, out of nowhere, you round the corner and bam, someone steps in and sit the fuck up. And you never saw it coming because you were too busy being happy. And I know, that's life. Shit happens. You should be a bigger man and just let it go. Well, I'm a woman, so that. Wow, look at that hairstyle. Will Chamberlain couldn't see over that thing. <laughs> Your hair is so high, you don't need a hairstylist, you need an air traffic controller. Huh? Her hair is so high, her split ends have altitude sickness. Oh, her hair is higher than Midge's unpaid dry cleaning bills. Her hair is higher than Sophie's blood pressure. Her hair is higher than the pedestal Midge puts herself on. Her hair is higher than Sophie Lennon on a Tuesday night. Hell, Tuesday morning. But a voice is a powerful thing. It can shine a light on something that is hiding in the dark. It can make a couple of guys sit when they want to go. Yeah, sit down! Jesus Christ, you and your f***ing Aristotle. It's Aristotle this and Aristotle that. You know, he buggered young boys. It was a different time, don't you know? You can't apply modern standards to ancient figures. Sidebar, you marry him, Maisel. How do you even know all this stuff about Aristotle? You seem very girly with your pretty makeup and your fashionable hairstyle and your Park Avenue heels. And I say, well, my father would read Aristotle to me as a child, and I absorbed facts about the old fart, even though I don't know what the f*** of it <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt. Thank you! Boy, good looking crowd today. You two look like you're in love, am I wrong? We're engaged. Oh. Exciting. And do you want kids right away? Uh, I think so. Yes. Great. Well, I've got two for you. Their names are Ethan and Esther. I'll have them bathed and delivered to you. Just feed and water them regularly. <laughs> nice doing business with you. Take it off. Sweet thought, but I think I'll keep it up. Guys, hear me. By the time I finish unzipping, unfastening, and unhooking the medieval contraption of rayon and rubber that is my girdle, you'll all be back in bed with your wives telling them how much you hated working late. <laughs> oh, you didn't say you were gonna throw an oily, crumpled dollar bill at me. Now it's coming off. <laughs> Every girl you see working tonight, shaking their money maker. <laughs> has a father. That's right. Me too, I have a father. Goes by Abraham. He thought I'd grow up to be the perfect lady. And here I am, slinging jokes in a strip club to a bunch of drunk men with various degrees of syphilis. So, happy Father's Day! 
She's fluent in French, Spanish, and Italian and Yiddish. I have no proof about the last one, but I still believe it's true. <laughs> do we really want a first lady who looks like this on a horse? Or do we want a first lady who looks a little more like the horse? I mean, an attractive horse. I'm talking buttermilk, not drink. <laughs> we women are dealing with a lot. Right. Do we really need to be constantly comparing ourselves? So come on. I'm curious. How many of your wives know you're here today? Little news for you, all of them. And how? Laundry. Because laundry is the diary of your day. One sniff of your shirt, they can smell Lucy, your Lucy secretary. They can smell the horse crack, the cigars with the boys, the cigars with Lucy. And they can definitely smell this place. <laughs> Women, huh? You can't live with them, you can't, well that pretty much sums it up. You can't live with them, huh? Wife. Oh, brother. She saw a psychic and told her that in a past life she was Mary Queen of Scots. I said, well, hope you had a good time, honey, because in this life you're Mary Queen my socks. <laughs> the wife is, she says she wants a job. Can you believe that? I says to her, sweetie, you got two jobs already that you never show up for. Hand and blow. Your wife is home, alone, all day long. You know who else is around your house all day long? Milkmen, mailmen, handymen, salesmen. You know how many products there are to sell out there? How do you come home one day and there's a brand new vacuum cleaner? I mean, you had a perfectly good one when you left in the morning, but then ding dong, hi, I'm handsome. Want to reach those hard to reach spots? I've got an expandable attachment that you're gonna love. My advice. Skip the horse and carriage ride if you're looking to get bounced around while breathing the smell of manure. Hail one of our calves. And you can skip the carousel in Central Park if you want to go around in circles with a bunch of idiot children, come to my writer's room. Uh, and there's no need to schlep to the Museum of Natural History. If you want to gawk at a dinosaur, you're already in the right place. Oh. You've been a great audience. Please get home safe. Don't forget to tip the waitresses. They're armed. I'm Mrs. Maisel, thank you and good night! Perfect! Oh. Dad, why'd you name yourself Richard? He was like, because I want to be rich. Did you wash your hands? Of course not. Oh my god! You ever use schmaltz? Same heart attack, different afterlife. Whoa, whoa, we were high five. Even if I did know where the Antichrist was, I wouldn't tell you we're on opposite sides. I rather enjoy being on fleek. <gasps> I eat a bug.